ranchers welcome back to ranch simulator and welcome back to hog heaven not quite the same hog heaven that we were in in the last episode of ranch simulator which was quite a while ago but the june update is what we're going to be looking at here today uh this june update should be going live they said july 15th in the email they sent me but anyone can go ahead and play on this june update if you just go to steam Right click on Ranch Simulator, go down to Properties, go to Betas, and go to the Unstable Branch version. Um, that's where we're at. And yeah, some things have quite changed here in Ranch Simulator. The map is completely different. Um, I've been playing quite a bit here uh, today, trying to get some things uh, up and going. Because we did kind of all the things that you would do when you start up the new branch version that's going on. I should also mention though, but before you go to the beta version, this will require a new game. The uh, When this update does go live July 15th, you're gonna require a new save game. So any progress you have done on the old save is going bye-bye. Um, so this is where we're at, Hog Heaven, uh, some a new area here. The beginning starts out the same as the other the other version where you get the letter in the in this little building here uh, from your grand I think it's your grandfather, uh, grandparents or grandfather, whatever. And of course, he tells you to go to the house, go upstairs, find the the hope chest upstairs. You get the bullets, the gun, the money, the letter. And then, of course, I did all the demolishing um, that requires. So I demolished uh, the house. There was a house here. Um, of course, the garage was right here as well where you have to build the ATV just like last time. And there was like an old windmill and a whole bunch of trash lying around here. I demolished all that. Of course, in order to do so, I went out, did a little hunting, went to the store, bought myself an ax, a crowbar, and of course, you have to buy a table, um, a table saw. I do not need a generator now. The table saw just takes gas directly. So and as you can see here, I got some planks ready to rock and roll as well. Because hopefully, uh, not hopefully, we are going to do, be doing some building today. But as for the map, yeah, I was saying the map is completely different. So everything is not where you think it's going to be. I'm starting to get used to the new map. And I'll show you. It took me a couple days to go around. I think I may have played, I'm going to say, maybe 8 to 10 in-game days. And I think the first 2 or 3 were kind of go around just trying to get used to the map. And also trying to find out where the deer and the bear are. I have not found all wolves yet, so... Um, if we ever run across one of those, I'll well be the first for me as well. But anyways, here we are at our quote-unquote ranch. There's no house, like I said, because I demolished it. Um, there's our ATV. I have bought in four coolers as well. Um, and uh, you do get one gas tank in the garage. Yeah, the garage was an oops delete. I was uh, trying to delete some stuff with a crowbar inside the garage. And there was like stuff on the floor and I misclicked. It wasn't the stuff on the floor I clicked on. It was the floor itself and the whole garage went poof. And I was like, um, that's fine. The other thing I remember in the first version that we went through, when we demolished everything on our property, we got like a money bonus. Um, I hope that's not the case here because it's like if we come over to this fence line here, it says, oh wait, if I get it just right. Um, yeah, press the left mouse button to remove trash. Um, is that, is that really trash? And it's the same thing even for this lovely little entry what we got here. That says press to, to demolish, but it doesn't say trash. So I don't know if I got to demolish the fence line or not, but you know what? Let's go ahead and just demolish it. See if I get a little bonus, money bonus. So I don't know if you saw my money. My money is up to two grand. Uh, been going, you know, out hunting every day. Been uh, filling up the coolers pretty much. I'm getting like 36 meat a day, sometimes up to 48 meat a day if I get lucky enough. Um, so I still got to demolish this building here, but I don't want to. I don't want to at all because my table saw is in there. But let's go ahead and the first thing we need to do, as you see on the left-hand side, buy items. Egg basket I got, chickens. I need a place for some chickens. So now when we build, we can build I don't want to say anywhere. It says, I know on the um, on the update, it says build anywhere you want. But when you go through the tutorial like you do in the beginning and you go to the real estate office, you can build anywhere on your land, which is kind of confusing. I don't know how much land we actually own. I don't know if we own all this here or not, but who knows. But let's go into the building mode. And now we got pages among pages. So on the first page, it looks like you can kind of like build your own building in any way, shape or form that you want, which is kind of interesting. 
So as you can see, you can build the house any which way you want, it looks like. Wood roof, stairs, windows, whole bunch of triangles and such. Uh, but then you got your other, your regular farmhouses. And now when you go into the building menu, you can see, like, uh, let's go to the retro farmhouse. You need 64 wood planks, not a problem. Now you need to buy concrete and metal. Yep. It's not just wood planks anymore. Not just planks anymore. So there are four farmhouses. So when you go over to these tabs here, I don't know if you saw it on the first tab we're on, but the, uh, don't think that's the only uh, things you got to build. If you see a little arrow down at the bottom of the book, you can flip it over and there's more things to show there. So, yep, there's a farmhouse. Um, I'm not sure what farmhouse we're going to go for yet, but uh, we, we we shall see. I got other things I need to build first. Uh, then, of course, you got your barn. The one thing I see about the barn right now it is just all wood planks, except for the doors, which may require some metal. Um, and then, of course, we got ourselves our chicken coops. We're going to go with this chicken coop right here, where it says recommended for keeping no more than 20 hens. Uh, we're going to get itself a couple of hens and a rooster so they can start to, you know, the rooster and the hens can reproduce, blah, 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 get itself more chickens. I like this because it's easier to collect the eggs. Now, the one thing I'm most with this chicken coop, if you remember in the first series, or this is going to be a continuation of that Let's Play, but there was like a little uh, chicken fencing around here. Uh, we'll get that in a second. I'm not sure if it's going to have it here, but it's not showing it in the picture. Uh, so we got these four chicken coops right here. And then in this tab right here, we can build the fences around whatever we're building. And of course, there's a gate here. We got to build ourselves a well. And uh, there are food, different kind of food troughs. We'll probably be building these small feeders. So let's go ahead and let's go and click on this. Oh, good. I was wondering about this because there is no... You don't get a free mower like we did in the startup of the other series. I was like, do I have to go buy a mower? Uh, apparently not. So which way am I facing here? EQ is upwards and downwards. Also, I just lift it up and off the ground a little bit. Uh, rotate. Where is... Oh, no. So it's the same. It's the same chicken coop as before, right? It's got like a little fence right there. I don't remember the backside having like a ramp going up to it. So that's kind of interesting. So is this the front or is that the back? I have no idea. I don't remember the ramps. You can kind of see like there's a ramp going up and into those doors. I think I'm going to face it this way because I don't know if the feed troughs are going to be in there or not. Um, where are we actually standing? Okay, we're. I mean, we're standing on our property. That's for darn sure. We're going to place it down right here. And let's go ahead and get out of that. Is that the way we want it here? I think so. I think so. So 50 wood planks. I should have plenty of planks in here. So cutting down trees. I haven't been cutting down any trees around here. I've been going up the mountain a little bit and cutting trees up there because I don't know if I want the trees here yet or not. So it looks like I can carry three planks at a time. Not a problem. Well, half the day has already gone by here. Uh, insert those. So now the hardware store is open. It's open for business. There are some things in the hardware store that I see that we cannot buy yet. So hopefully in the future. So yeah, like I said, I did a lot of work uh, before the start of this episode, starting the save game, going around uh, hunting some deer and some bear. Like I said, I will go ahead and show you probably the way I've found the best areas to hunt so far. I just want to give myself enough cash to go in uh, before we went any before I went any further. But now I think it's time to get the chickens going so I can get some more income coming in. And plus, you know, I don't want to start the series and just show the things that we've already kind of done. Now, if you're new to Ranch Simulator and you want to see what the beginning is kind of like, you can go ahead and just check out like episode one, and you'll see me demolish an old ugly looking farmhouse if you will so eventually this building will be going bye bye as well build it all new i am kind of curious because at the hardware store there is there is like a paint section so i wonder if we can paint the buildings i'm not too sure now i'm going to try to go with the same concept as before um meaning we're going to build a barn uh do some pigs probably some cows uh make some sausage all that kind of wonderful stuff 
But in the beginnings, I'll probably do, be doing a lot of off-camera work in between episodes just to kind of get it started. You don't need to see me going around hunting a lot because we did that a lot in the, the first few episodes of Ranch Simulator. But already, um, the new map, I'm liking it. I'm liking the, the ground textures, uh, everything about that. Um, of course, I'm going to love the way we can build anywhere. It's just a matter of how do I know I don't I can't get myself a vision of how I want my ranch to look. The good thing also is it looks like we're going to be able to build. You can build like a whole bunch of different kind of barn. Not, I won't say different barns, but you can build more than one barn. So that'd be cool. So you can have like one barn for pigs, one barn for cows. Uh, horses will be coming along as we know in well they say August, but we shall see. We shall see. But pretty soon here, once we get all these planks on. I'll take you on down to the hardware store. Now we got to buy 50 metal. And while we're there as well, probably going to go ahead. What I'm going to do is build a well right over here next to the chicken coop because they're going to need some water, right? So they're going to need some water. So while I'm thinking about it, before I forget, let's go to the book. Uh, I think it's down here. So this requires six planks, 50 concrete. Now we're going to go ahead and just put the well. Sure. That looks good. You agree? All right. So I'm going to go ahead and get some of these planks in. Then we'll head on down to the hardware store. Like I said, get the material we need for that stuff. And then uh, on off to the store, general store. And we're going to buy ourselves some chickens. All right. Got all the planks on the chicken coop. I got all the planks on the well. I'm taking out the jerry can, the gas can. I did fill up the uh, UTV, so that's ready to go. And I took out two coolers. That's giving me enough, enough room, I think. I think. Uh, I did kill a deer this morning right on down the road. There's one that, there's usually about two of them that run around here. Let's go ahead and we'll stop and take care of this one. Definitely buy yourself some coolers. Coolers are the way to go for stacking meat for sure. You can fit 12 meat per cooler. So on the map, I'll probably better do this now because I'll probably forget. But it seems like the best area to hunt is in like in this area right here. Uh, a lot of deer in this certain area and in the mountain ranges in around here. I have killed at least um, the maximum three bears in one in-game day. So there are you know, at least three bears. Uh, as for deer, maybe six. Somewhere around there. Something like that. Anyways, uh, let's head on down to the hardware store. And I want to come back and definitely finish up the coop and the well. Now, this is going to be kind of new for me. So, I know I need 50 concrete and 25 metal. Um, I've been, like I said, I've been to the hardware store. So, it's not that big of a secret on the metal for me. The concrete, I'm not really sure when it says 50. I'm going to show you exactly what I mean in a second. Uh, hardware store. So, this is the vehicle shop right here. Along with the realtor's office right there as well. But if we hang a left. Uh, nope, got to go this way. Sorry. Gotta go this way. So I go on past it. There's uh, Best Burgers. I've seen that in other um, <laughs> other games. This is a placeholder, I'm sure. I'm pretty sure at some point, they're putting that into the game. At some point, we're gonna have to go ahead and eat and drink. So this is the hardware store. And this is where we need to come on in. And right now, I'm just gonna park right here, I think. I'm not gonna park in the zone because uh, at the general store, I park in the zone to sell the meat, and then when I buy some things, sometimes they spawn inside the UTV, and you I'm on the ground looking for my bullets. Like, where's my bullets? I take off on the UTV, and they fly out. So I've seen This is the hardware store. So the first thing I'm going to show you is over here. I, I haven't tried it yet, but it says color machine. You can use it. And, um, yeah, we can go ahead and, I guess, buy some paint for 40 bucks. Uh, I, I mean, can I paint? paint the buildings i have no idea but they got the same machine here as you will find the general store that we used before so we're gonna come in here so i needed 25 metal so we got metal plates right here so i want to buy three of those one two three because i need 25 so that's gonna give me 30 so it says that i need 50 concrete i'm not sure if i buy one bag that's one bag or do i need 50 kilograms of concrete so we're going to try this this is for the well we're going to go ahead and buy that. It's $250 for a 50 kilogram bag of concrete. We're going to go ahead and do that. See if that's what we need. 
Uh, here's the lawnmower. You can still buy the lawnmower, but now it's a thousand. Here's where you can buy your crowbar and axe. Uh, you can see the cooler. I think the cooler is actually cheaper at the general store. So be careful. There's some things you can buy here as you can buy at the general store. I think the cooler was only $90 at the general store. And of course, we got our meat processing stuff. Uh, compact cooker. Interesting. Um... Uh, we're going to need a bucket. We're going to go ahead and... Why would I... Uh, throw all $8? Um, I, 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 yeah, we'll just buy that, I guess. Uh, let's go to the checkout. And checkout. It says, thank you for our purchase. Spending some cash. Ooh, wow, these are pretty darn big. Can I pick them on up? Can I stack these? Please let me stack them. Oh, thank you. Now, you can see there is a trailer in the store, which is interesting. I thought that would be at the vehicle shop. So I thought about buying a trailer depending on... I was going to see how much uh, how big these things are. But you can see you can buy some car trailer and a small trailer here as well. Was that? No, that I don't think that was not the vehicle shop. Anywho, uh, let's grab this 50 concrete. Can I stack that on top of that? No, I cannot. Please tell me you fit in the back of the UTV. You do. And the bucket, will that fit back here somewhere? That'll work. All right, so when it says it needs 50 concrete, is that uh, 50 bags of concrete? And this counts as five bags, or is this going to be enough? So the terrain seems to be more forgiving than it was on the, should I call it the older map? Yeah, let's call it the older map. It seems to be a little bit more forgiving. That's for darn sure. So I definitely want to get these chickens up and going so that they can start, you know, producing some eggs. Uh, reproducing. I want to have a few chicken coops going here in the beginning. All right, let's just park this right here. Get on out. Let's grab this. There's 10. There's 20. Hey, we got ourselves a chicken coop. Let's go ahead and just, we'll drop this in here somewhere. We'll put it over here. Oh, I got a bucket over here already. That's fine. So I'm going to need a bucket once we get cows going. We need a bucket for milk anyways. I mean, I could use the same bucket, but you understand. You understand. All right, so the question is, I think this one bag is going to do it all. So if that's the case, oh, that's great. All right, so that's going to be a little bit cheaper than I thought. So the other thing that I'm probably going to do, we'll start today, but I'll do it uh, a little bit more in between episodes, is the barn. Like I said, the barn only requires planks. Um, I'm not really sure where I want to put the planks yet, but... I kind of have an idea, uh, not the planks, but the barn. Uh, but let's go ahead. I want to get these chickens today. Hopefully we can get there in time, but we should be able to. So that's good news on the concrete. Got that all squared away. Now I know. Now I definitely know. So the house may not be as expensive as I originally thought. So it needs like, um, I don't want to say, I, I want to try to build a house where it says every rancher's dream. I think it requires like 360 some odd concrete. So... That's only like six or seven bags of concrete, which is not too bad. So we're not going to get the house right away. Probably going to be like a couple... I, I don't know if it'll be next episode or, or not. But we shall see. See how much work I do in between episodes or how much work I get done. Anyways, on up to the general store. And like I said, it took me a couple days to get used to where everything is. And every once in a while I still like... Uh, what, road is, what road am I on? Don't really know. Let's come up here. I think I can carry four chickens, but I'm not sure if I got the room in the UTV to do so. All right, let's come in here. All right, so I still got $1,300 in my bank account. So we're going to add the cart. Do I want to... We're definitely going to go with the, uh, the dark rooster. Don't ask me why, but we will. And... You know what? We'll get two of those and one of those. $400 even. That sounds good to me, right? Let's go ahead and check on out. 
Thank you for your purchase. All right, definitely pick up the rooster first. <gasps> I got to buy some food for him. All right, so hopefully you guys can all fit in here. You don't tell me you got, you're going to take up that much room. If I have to, I might leave my coolers here. I do have a, a, a bag back at home so I can feed them that, but they should be good for like a day or so. Oh, yes, fit in there. Fit in there. All right, looks like I'm choking my chicken, but she'll be fine. Oh, good, they all fit in there. Um, I can come back and buy the bags of wheat another day, which would be tomorrow. But I got to get these chickens into their coop so they can start doing their thing. Let's head on back. Got to build them some feed troughs and a water trough. Because I don't think it was actually in the coop, was it? I didn't see it there. Yep, like I said, there's usually a couple deer running around here. I got one already this morning. There's the second one. But I got other things to do. Why are you telling me? Not too sure. Not too sure what the game's trying to tell me. I know it's getting a little bit dark. Uh, but hopefully you guys can go ahead and see. Um, I, what is this do back here? I don't remember this. Press E to open door. Yeah, I don't remember the, that being on the other chicken coop on the original series. It may have been. Can we open up this? It, we sure can. All right, let's go ahead and grab you. Can I walk in without having a duck? No, we got a duck. Duck, duck, goose. But these are chickens. Yeah, I know. Alright, get them on in. There we go. They are in. Alright, I know it's getting dark, so... Um, I know I got a little headlamp there I could put on. But, uh, let's go ahead. Why don't we have to pick up the items? I've already bought in the uh, the egg basket. I do, do I just pick it up to... Oh, quest complete. All right. Go back to your ranch. Place your items in the cargo bed using... What? Um, there's nothing there. There's nothing there. I'm going to go to bed and wake up in the morning because this will be just a little bit easier. So we can see. Actually, you know what's close enough? We don't need to do a jump cut because it's almost 8 o'clock at night. There we go. Let's go ahead and sleep. Now, this tent is here automatically when you show up at the ranch, so you don't have to worry about that too much. Place your items in the cargo bed using... I'm not really sure what they're trying to do. There's nothing here. Not really sure what the game wants me to do. All right, I got other things I need to do. I'll figure it out maybe in between episodes. <laughs> but they're going to need some feed, right? So let's go in here to building. Can I place this through? Um, wait, where am, I, where am I looking for here? We are looking for the small feeder. Can I place this through? No, I'm going to have to open the doors. And no, okay. So now can we do this? Uh, small feeder. We're going to place one like there. And we'll place one. Like there. What what does a hmm? How big is this? Yeah, let's go let's go with that because there's gonna be like uh yeah there's nothing on there. Make sure I'm on this and not the chicken coop. That'd be disastrous. Yeah, if you guys come on out, that that's fine. All right, so there's plenty of room for that and now let's go to a feed trough Ooh, that might be a little bit too big for him all right so i may have to go to the smaller feeder
Yep, let's go with this small feeder. I'll actually put a couple of them in there. I don't know how long they'll last. And it's only wood planks, so it's not that big of a deal. These still close? Yes, they still close. All right, so let's go grab some wood planks, get them, get the chickens all set. I will be honest, when I, <laughs> before I start recording, I'm like, I got plenty of planks. Um, I'm going through them pretty darn quick. But when we got the well, we got the chicken coop up and going. That's the main thing. Let's go ahead and that's the last one there. Uh, I tried building with the gates closed. <gasps> I see hearts. That means uh, good things are happening in there. Yeah, so I, you cannot build through the uh, the chicken wire. So doors need to be open to go ahead and place those down. If, that's the, if this is the chicken coop you're going for. Now, this should be a back. Can I grab that? I cannot. Oh, wait. How about if I... Now can I grab that? Is that uh, is that not a bag of wheat I can grab? How about if I get rid of the refrigerator? Now can I pick that up? I cannot pick that up at all. It doesn't say I can demolish it either. Okay, not a big deal. It's just like the cooler in here. I cannot remove the cooler, which seems kind of weird. Can I pick up the bucket? I am on hands, right? I cannot pick up the bucket. I can pick up the... No, I can't. I can read that letter. All right, so we need to buy some feed for the chickens. Not that big of an issue. But let's come over here and grab the bucket here. Uh, is that going to be automatic now? Oh, no. Okay. So it went down by itself. Um, rotate the mouse to raise and lower the install bucket. Yep, still the same thing as before, and yep, still the same clunkiness I have as before. But it's all good. Can I fill that through there? No, I cannot. So it looks like it's going to take about three buckets. I'll put two in there. I'm glad that it goes down on itself. I can't remember on the original version of the first version of Rant Simulator. I think it went down on itself as well, maybe? Oh, man, I still hate this. Still hate it with a passion. There we go. There, that's good enough for now. Um, I'm just checking because we saw some hearts going. Yep, there's an egg in there. I'm probably not going to collect eggs for a while, let them kind of reproduce. So you got three. I don't know if all my chickens are in there. Are they? Yes, they are. Yes, they are. They're all in there. All right, I want to get, get you guys some food here. Uh, let me just try grabbing the egg basket. Place your items in the cargo bed using... I wonder if I just got a, when it says cargo bed, is that the back of the UTV and they just want me to drive over the ranch? The ranch symbol? Let's try this. Yeah, I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to be doing here. Yeah, I know how to place items back at the cargo bed, but I'm not really sure what that uh, that's all about. I Hopefully, I, I may have done a step out of order, and that's why it's all screwy. I don't know. Anyways. Now what I'm going to show you is the area to hunt. At least uh, I found out, like I said, uh, we start the morning. There's usually a couple deer running around here, speaking of. Oh, wait, where did you go? Oh, no, sorry. There he is. You gonna stop? Oh, I thought you were gonna stop completely. Yeah, come a little closer. Now, what I have found is sometimes um, it takes three shots to take down a deer, so it's like 50 50. Sometimes it's two, sometimes it's three. I'm not really sure it matters where you actually hit the deer when you shoot. I have no idea. 
Uh, the bear is still four shots. And the wolves, I have not seen. All right. So, like I said, the place to go hunting, at least so far that I have found, like I said, I've only played about uh, 10 in-game days or so. Uh, just let me just make sure. I probably should take up to the gas station. Well, I don't need to go to the gas station. But I'm going to drive up past there anyways. So, when you leave the ranch, just hang a left. And it's the same as before. If you just keep hanging a left, it's all good. And we'll top off the UTV on some fuel. I got plenty of fuel for the day. And the only thing you still do here is gas up. I have not... Uh, I tried going into the door and would not let me, so I'll pick that up. Pop that in. It's not going to take much fuel. Pick that up and put that in. Um, follow the road back to the ranch. Ranch reached. Okay, I'm not really sure. I, I, I mean, I, I pretty much did that. Uh, I just want to see what my, in, uh, my uh, balance is, which is $1,000, which is fine. It's pretty darn good. I'm happy with that. Built the chicken coop and got the well in for like a thousand bucks. So after you leave the gas station, if you keep hanging a left, um, sometimes the deer are roaming around up here. But for the most part, they are going to be down a little bit further here. And already see two of them right there. All right, well, that one's staying still. You gonna stop so I can... I'll get you eventually. Let's come over here and harvest that deer. I'm not gonna do too much hunting. We've seen it all, so maybe I'll just let the other one go. For now, even though I got a shot into him. Pick it on up. Now, there are other farms on the map, just like before. I don't know if we're going to be able to buy those in the future, or maybe trade with them or something like that. Whoa, some wild deer around here. Alright, you know what? If, if you want to die that bad... Yeah, I didn't think so. I'm not sure you're the same one. I see another one running around here. All right, yeah, I just need to—I just need to show you guys what's going on here. I could be hunting all day long. I'll do plenty of that in between episodes, along with the uh, chickens doing what they do. Now, let me hit you with the UTV. No, it doesn't do anything. All right, he's fine. He's fine. All right, so if you want to know where we are on the map, you see all the deer running around here. Like I said, it's kind of like right in this corner here. Uh, we'll cut across the road. And see if I can show you where the bears are roughly at. I'm seeing these on the map. I'm not sure what these are. I don't know if they're supposed to be like dried up water holes. But they're kind of blackish. I don't know if there's going to be like oil. I, th I don't know. I don't know. Uh, where am I here? Okay, I'm here. Now sometimes the bears are up in the little mountains right here. So they could be up there. Uh, let me just drive around here. Where are you, bears? And finally found a, one of the bears anyways. But now if you look at the map, you can see roughly right where I'm... Like I said, there's like... I have seen three in a day. Oh, speaking of. Oh, you can see three right now. One, two, three. Uh, can't pass up this opportunity. Come here. Hey, get as close as you can, would you please? That way I don't have to, you know... Two, three, four. All right. And two, three, four. Reload and quickly go to hand. That way we have to do the whole animation and then you're good to go. Can the pistol can reach that far? Don't think so. Well, it may be doing so. Let me just see here. I guess it doesn't go that far. All right, not that big of a deal. All right, so I'm gonna harvest these bears. I'm gonna to go to the general store. 
I got to buy some grain for the chickens. Uh, oddly enough, that one back at the farm slash ranch. Ooh. Um, what did I say? Am I going to be able to carry all this meat? Should be able to. Uh, yeah, so the, the bag back of the ranch. Apparently, we cannot use that. Been to the store, sold the meat, bought four uh, cases of ammo and four bags of wheat. I'm going to try... Ah, we're back to the ranch. Okay, so apparently because I was at the ranch, chickens pulled out. Uh, put the chickens somewhere on the ranch. Uh, so apparently it doesn't know I've done this already. So I guess I'll have to go pull my chicken out and uh, choke it for a second and place it somewhere, I guess. I don't know. Uh, let's go ahead and place that down in there. So one bag equals seven. There we go. They are good to go for a while. Let's go ahead and put the extra bags here. So you don't need a mower to mow down. I think in the original one we had to, you had to mow the grass before you could place anything on down. So what I want to do, I think, uh, cause we got a nice area right here. And yes, I do see the deer running off of the distance. I think, um, let's go ahead and put down. Now the only thing that kind of sucks about this, all my planks are over, over yonder, uh, barn front section. This brings me back to my arc building days to where you wish you can kind of see behind you a little bit. Is there K mode? <laughs> All you arc people are probably laughing like, yeah, I know exactly what it means. Um, so there's the entryway to the ranch. Let's go ahead and just go like that. And right now I just need, I have no idea. Let me go pull out one of my chickens here. There. Uh, grain. Oh, so now I bet you I can grab that grain. Aha. Hang on a second. Yeah, because it's leading me to the grain. Now it wants me to pour it on the floor. I mean, I'd rather not do that. But, I mean, to complete the quest, I guess I'm going to have to. Uh... Place? No, uh, release. No, wait, what? I forgot how to do this. Oh, yeah, then pour on the ground. There we go. <sighs> All right, uh, not a problem. Not a problem. Let's go ahead and remove that. I don't want that on the ground. Now I can grab these buckets. Yeah, we got the, we got the, the bucket found. All right, and then, then yeah, we found this. Water tank installed anywhere on the ranch. I've already done that. That's kind of disappointing. I may build another one for the cows anyways. Cows slash pigs. Let me grab some of these planks here. Like I said, I thought I had plenty of planks, but uh, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. So I'm not sure how big I want to... Oh, I gotta go to each individual stud to place them on down. All right, that's not that big big of a deal. But we're going ahead and start building of the barn. I don't know how much the pigs are. I know it's gonna be expensive to feed them. Am I ready for pigs? Heck no. But uh, we're gonna start building the barn for sure. While we're here, since it doesn't cost nothing uh, to place buildings down, where's my mouse? Here's my mouse. Do I want to do this? So an exclusive retro style house is a dream of any true rancher. So we're going to go ahead and... Oh, wow. Um, okay. Uh, where, where are we? Where where the heck I am? I'm all confused. Wait, there's the chicken coop. Okay, there's the barn. Uh, I think the house I want to go... Yeah, over this way. Over this general area. There we go. Do I really want it this far away from the, all the animals? I think so. I think we want to kind of like have a big ranch area. I wonder if I place it down if that tree is going to be... To see that tree in the, in, the, in the ghost image? Is that a choppable tree? It is. And no log from it. All right, we'll chop that one down as well. 
Yep, nothing from it, which is fine. Alright, let's go ahead and do this again. Build, farmhouse. I do get a reward of $100. I saw that in the quest line. Hang on a second. Do you see it in the quest line? $100. So, um, water tank found, water tank installed anywhere in the ranch, bucket of water poured. Unfortunately, there was a well here. And I didn't think I could do anything with it, so I demolished it. So I may have to build another well. It's going to suck. But um, not that big of a deal. It's not that expensive as we saw. I mean, it is a bag of concrete, which is 250 bucks. But I'm probably going to have multiple wells anyways. That wouldn't have to go too far. But anyways, we got ourselves our chicken coop. Uh, we got four chickens. I got some feed for them. They got water. We got a water well. We got the start of our barn. Our ranch is over there. We'll slowly build on our own ranch. I think the ranch is important because, well, you give me a place to sleep. Well, I mean, I got a place to sleep anyways. But I think I need to put the uh, meat grinding material inside that building there. And the reason why I'm going with the exclusive one to start off with is because I think it gives us more areas to dry our sausages. That's right. I said it. But anyways, uh, we are back at a ranch simulator. Like I said, this is the the June update, as they call it. Uh, should be released uh, fully on July 15th. But if you want to play on this on this uh, right now, just like I said, go to Steam, uh, left click on Steam, go down to Properties, then go to Betas, and then select the Unstable Branch, which is the beta version, I guess we would call it. And uh, you can get started. Now, I don't know when it gets released on the 15th that we get to restart over. Have no idea. I could not tell you. But anyways, you know what? Let's go ahead and go to bed. So at least, at least that way we're, we're, we're ending when it's daylight out. So we can see a little bit better. There we go. There we go. But anyways, that is going to do it for today, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy the episode. I do appreciate you watching. As always, I'll catch you again right here in Ranch Simulator. But until then, have a good one. You guys got any more eggs for me? I mean, is it just one still? I may have to go out and buy more chickens.